Hi, this is Christina, and this is a data virtualization in a nutshell video from Red Hat Integration. So, in order to confront the rapidly evolving world around us, businesses need to be more aware of demands and reflect instantaneously to them. And this has always been a struggle for medium to large size companies due to the complexity of systems supporting various operations and functions. And sharing and ability to analyze data across the board becomes critical, but it is difficult since data silo happens naturally due to the divergence of goals from different projects and departments. And don't forget about Conway Cloud too. So the era of microservices and cloud only makes the problem worse, as now each small microservices has its own data source, and the distributed computing world makes data consolidation a nightmare. Integrating data between systems by ETL makes sense, when you have only a handful of systems to copy back and forth. And any changes to the data format schema will require substantial IT manpower to work on it, not counting the time it takes to implement the changes. With hundreds and thousands of services in a cloud-native world, it is certainly mission impossible. Data Federation was introduced many years ago to solve data integration problems. Basically, it transparently maps multiple autonomous database systems into a single access point with this single interface access point, it would have a unified data models for all the users. So this strategy may work in some circumstances, but again, in the rapid changing world with exponential ever growing partner ecosystem and the customer, you can't count on the others to accommodate your needs. Businesses needs to do that extra mile to provide faster and customized services in order to stand out. Therefore, virtualizing your data Real-time will be a good fit in a microservices cloud-native world where developer defines virtually on how the data should be put together and then it is connected back to the actual physical data source without the data user knowing the detail of implementation. Therefore, all the complexity are hidden from the data users. So um, security, uh, who has access to which column in a particular table or a particular system are hidden from them. Um, also, the types of data stores such as relational database, NoSQL database, um, a SaaS application or services from your legacy system, or simply a file are hidden from those uh, data users. They don't have to know anything about the data format. Data visualization not only can adopt and customize data models according to business needs quickly, it also allows multiple interface to access these data so it can bring flexibility to your system. Another big problem how do we bring this virtualization data onto the cloud and what happens to the data on the cloud? So his, this is how Red Hat integration works. As a developer, you can define and deploy a virtual DB, configuring using simple SQL to multiple data source, such as normal relational database, APIs, big data data source, or non-SQL database to your cloud environment quickly in a lightweight image. Now your virtual DB can deploy it on top of cloud as a microservices form, which is distributed among your system as well, instead of deploying into a single monolithic application server where now everything is distributed so you can scale them up and down and deploy the way you want and manage it as the same as other microservices that's also available on your cloud. In this demo, I will be creating a virtual DB connects to two different databases. One's Postgres contains customer information and the other one is MySQL contains ordering information and trying to virtual create a virtualized view and expose as a RESTful services. Here is my virtualized DB DTL, which points to the actual data source. And also here is my customized interface for people that wants to retrieve a joint view from those two databases. Now I'm going to simply run my application as a Spring Boot application in local my local environment. And here you go, this is my REST, this is my OData endpoint, which I can then access my data using the RESTful code. And now I'm going to upload my local virtual DB, containerize it and upload onto my cloud environment. In this use case is OpenShift. Now, once you see it's running, I can start accessing the public uh, URL, which was ex uh, enabled in my cloud environment and then access the data um, like how I did in the local environment, and then also using RESTful code as well. As a system integrators, you can now use the tech preview features in Views Online, where you can create your virtualization using a UI. Basically, 
all the connection that is available inside your environment will be available for you to expose as a data virtualization view. So basically what you need to do is to create a digital data virtualization and give it a name. And then you can choose which data you're going to import it from. And it's going to show you all the available tables in your data source. You click any, any one of it. Once you're done with editing it, you can start publishing it. And now I can access this endpoint that will retrieve all the information from the database. Thank you. That's all for this nutshell video.